Hi guys, and welcome back to my playthrough of Ulio. Today we are going to play the fourth and final chapter, The Birthmark. Told you that birthmark would be important. <laughs> Let's get right into it. With the prologue. If you think so, son, Ulug whispered. Yes, father. The Yiri are a threat to all of us, and the war with Agurik is over. Ulug's jaundiced eyes rested on him. Peace with my archenemy Agurik, he said softly. What a brilliant solution, son. A violent cough shook his chest, and his bony hands clawed themselves to his seat. His arms, once muscular chunks, had become terribly thin, and his skin looked like pergament pulled over a skeleton. Two archenemies united by a marriage, Ulug mumbled to himself, battling side by side against the Yeri. Do I have your blessing, father? Another fit of coughing silenced Ulug for half a while. Yes, he said hoarsely. Yes. Now go to your men, they're waiting for you, and I hear your little bride has also followed you here, to wave you goodbye a second time before you leave for the western shores. His pergament-like face twisted itself into a grimace. Was he smiling? Love is a blessing, Ulio, and with my blessing, you're doubly blessed. The two doctors stood by Ulug's bed and frowned at Ulio. Your father needs to rest now, said one of them. Ulio bowed to his father and left. Outside of the castle, his army was waiting. As Ulio walked over the yard towards the gate, he noticed Ulug standing at a window, looking down. He waved up at him. Ulug did not stir. Alright, re read the hints as we get to them, as usual. Let's go! <coughs> Ulio is out to support Agurik's army. Slow him down. May Agurik bleed white against the Geary tribe without my son's support. Oh dear. That's not good. A curse on that foundling. Ulio was like a son to me, and now he helps my arch enemy and marries his daughter? Foul treason. I'm fading, but I shall not allow myself to die before a Gurik. God, this guy's stubborn. Not yet. I'll miss you too, Ulio. Oh, we're going off to war. Look at this. Will I get to command all these forces? We'll see. Oh, I hear battle noise already. Oh dear. Alright, what do we gotta do? Ulio must defeat the Yiri leader to turn the tide of the battle. Make haste, or your men will slowly bleed to death. Starting battle. Ulio should not try to interfere with the main battle as long as the Yiri army leader still lives, but he should have no mercy if anyone with a sharp blade steps in his way. You will get control of your surviving units shortly after you have killed the leader. Okay, so we just have Ulio right now, and we have to go snipe the leader. Where is he? I've spotted the chief. Let's see how those Yiri do without their leader. Alright, so I just said uh, ignore the battle for now. Can we take this guy? Oh. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I can't take him on my own. I am Prince Ulio. Face me if you have the courage. This is impossible. How am I. He has 200. What? What? Oh man. Alright, restart. Why didn't I save? <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. I think I'll save here just to be safe. Then I don't have to watch that opening scene again. Alright. Well, he seemed very strong, but... Hmm. But his guards are really weak. I could take him out in one hit each. Okay, I think that's what I'll do. Okay, knights are after me, but they're both really weak. I can take them out too, no problem. Ha! Ah, what a badass I am. Alright, come at me, bros. And now it's your turn. The faster I do this, the more men I have left after this 
after I kill this uh, Yuri Chief because they're taking a lot of hits right now. Come on. He has a lot more HP than me, but I'm I have four pierce armor, so he's not doing too much damage to me. Alright, there we go. Slain. Panic at the disco! Come on, men. Keep fighting. We are doomed! Alright, let's get in here. Get the halberdiers to take out all these mounted units. Alright, we've done pretty well. Finish them. Alright, we're looking okay. Oh, the bridge is out. The bridge, what happened with the bridge? Should we go investigate? What the? Somebody damaged the bridge behind us. Yeah. While Uriel gazed at the bridge, he heard the sound of hooves disappearing in the distance. He remembered that the bridge had already made a scrunching noise under his feet when he had crossed it. It must have been prepared to collapse even before his men crossed, but it had broken down too late. Whoever had damaged that bridge, he had failed to keep Ulio and his army up. Hmm. I'm guessing that was dear old dad. Well, he didn't quite achieve his didn't quite achieve his goals, which is good for us, I guess. Let's destroy this uh, tent and see if there's anything in there for us. Maybe there'll be some resources or prisoners. Who knows? What's going on? Oh, monks! Thank you for setting us free. Those Yeri do not even respect men of religion. Oh, excellent. Monks are good. Monks are very good. Alright, we'll let them heal our guys up, and see you read the hints for the next part. On the past, protect the monks. The right formation will help here. Like in the first scenario, you can only use your monks for healing, not for converting. The Yeri are fierce warriors, and will be unimpressed by religious chants. Alright, so I guess... Box formation is what that is suggesting we use. We can do that. Ah, we're still not fully healed, so we should try just wait, twiddle our thumbs a bit until that's done. Um, what I like, what I really admire about the storytelling in this, about the story of this campaign, is how almost all of the there's all it's it's all very shades of gray kind of. So like both Ulug and Agurik are not. It's not it's not good and evil. They both have their upsides and downsides. Like Olug is like way too proud and stubborn to to realize that his fight with Agurik is not the bigger issue right now. Um, yeah, it's really good storytelling, I think. Although the Yeri are kind of this just one dimensional evil horde. I... Room for improvement there, but the fact that you can even criticize the storytelling on that level says something. Because. All right. I'm guessing we're in a box formation for a reason. Are we going to get attacked at some point? It's cold up here. Strange. It doesn't seem any colder to me than it was down at the camp. What does that mean? Does he have a fever or something? Oh. Uh-oh. All right, everyone. Let's hold him off. I have skirmishers. Uh oh, we're being There's some on the other side here too. Okay, good thing we had the box formation, I guess. All right, I think we lost two men in that little fight. That's not too bad. We're still perfectly viable here.
Heal up again. We'll keep going. I'm sure we'll have a chance to stop and talk about something like... What's this down here? This little graveyard? Abandoned trade workshop or something? Maybe there's something here. Is this the way? Yeah. Oh, behold, a wolf is chasing a deer. There they go. Oh, oh. The deer is sliding in the hill. And there goes the wolf. Look at them. Look at them go. As you wish. Oh. The wolf and the deer both smashed on that rock. This slope is fiendishly slippery. All right, so my guess is if I put any of my men on this slope, they'll suffer the same fate. We don't have the right boots to walk on that ice. Either we stay away from it, or we need something to spike our boots. I wonder how he did it that they slid down the hill, but I like that they were moving down the hill, but they had their stand their standing still animation, so that it looked like they were sliding again. That's very nicely designed. All right, I think we need to yeah, let's control group some things. Julio is group one. Monks are group two. I said group two. Everyone else is group three. Halbs are group four. All right. Let's explore this. There's probably something in here. Maybe we can find some nails to, to, to put on our boots or something. Pyracantha. What is that? Kind of flower, I guess. Nothing here? Hmm. Right. Behold, there's a deserted onager. That's useful. Do we get it? There are countless iron nails holding the siege machine together. They could be used to spike our boots. I wonder. What are your orders, my prince? You have two choices now. Deconstruct, delete the onager, and use its iron nails to spike your boots. This will enable Ulio and his men to walk on the slippery parts of the hill, or keep the onager and use it as a weapon. As soon as it has fired its first shot, you won't be able to use its iron nails anymore. Mmm, choices, choices. I think I should scout around. So I, this is probably a kind of a shortcut. Or we could take a long way around, but get to keep the onager for use in battle. So I guess we should scout around a bit. To see what the other route looks like and whether having the onager is worth it. Or, oh, careful guys, guys, guys. All right, we have, oh, guys, no. Why are you going that way? All right. Watch out, there's an army of Yeri waiting for us. Okay, so we need to defeat this army or Take this road. Uh, I need to defeat the army of Yeri before his men can march onwards. Oh, that's quite a fairly... That's a pretty sizable army. Is that worth one onager to fight this? I think I'll save. And I will give it a shot. Hmm. Might be worth it. I mean, I don't know if we're going to be in some sort of a siege situation later where an onager could be really useful. But... We've used it as a weapon. Charge! Now charge back. Leave my onager alone! We should take out their mangonels. Was it worth it? I'm not sure, but it was fun. Oh, I lost the honor. Oh boy. Okay, it wasn't worth it. Wasn't worth it. Not worth it, guys. Not worth it. All right, let's let's take the boring route.
some men sighed, others mumbled grimly when they deconstructed the onega. But when they had pierced the soles of their boots with the spikes, they noticed how much safer it was to walk now. Alright, so now we can go down this hill. Probably could have, I probably could have, if I had microed a bit better, won that fight. But I don't think all the losses I would have taken would have been worth the one onager that I get out of it. So, probably we should go this way. Whichever way. Where is the way? Is this the way? Is there a sneak through the trees or something? Guess not. Do I have to fight this? I guess I have to fight this. In that case, what's the point of deleting the onager? There's really no point to it. Oh, I know what I can do. Ah, I see. I see. Okay, this is not an honorable way of fighting, but I think what we have to do is basically debate the entire Aguirre army onto the slippery slope so that they all scream, slide down screaming to their deaths. Alright, so... Gotta debate them. After me! Follow me, boys! Whee! Oh, there they go. That's what you get. Come on, after me. Follow me. Follow me, everyone. <laughs> That's funny right there. I think he was supposed to die. Oh, he's he's losing HP. There he goes. <laughs> That's quite funny. There they go. Oh dear. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> well, that was definitely the less honorable way of winning that fight, but... I'm not here to win honorably. I'm here to win any way I can. Take out this mangonel. Alright, how have we done so far? Not much left. That was the slightly cheap way to win, but hey man, it worked, didn't it? I heal up these two-handed swordsmen. I lost one unnecessarily just now. Wow. I'm not exactly proud of winning that way, but I'll take it. I will take it. Onwards, men. See, I totally did that on purpose so that you guys... Ooh. I totally did that on purpose so that you guys would see both ways that you could win this. I did like I could have easily won, but I wanted to show you guys what happens when you just just delete the onager. It was all completely on purpose. You all believe that, right? All right, we gotta do something with this scorpion. Still in range of the scorpion? Lost one of the archers. Where's the skirmishers? Come on. This formation is so close. Sniping the scorpion. Come on, these guys are so fragile. Does this tower have like bol bolstered HP or something? I have one throwing axe, and I guess would be a bit more effective against the scorpion, but... Nah, he's taking too much damage, man. Hmm. I want to get rid of these archers. Oh, 
It's all this hit and run tactics, man. See, they have extra HP, they have 40. I only have 30 on mine. That doesn't seem very fair. God, the scorpion is... That seems like way more than... I, I gotta say, that seems like way more than 7 range to me. I call hacks. This is not safe, man. I'll get there eventually. Hmm. Maybe I should just take I should tank some of the archer fire with Ulio because he Yeah. So you guys heal him. Yeah, this tower doesn't have that much attack. Is he safe here? I think he's safe. Finally! Finish these dang archers off. The path is free! Alright, Julio's getting a little dangerously close to low HP there, so let's take him out. Destroy all these buildings. You never know what you can find. Alright, I know I'm taking things a little bit slow, guys, but you always want to be cautious. You always want to conserve as many of your men as you can. It was a handful of food rations in that outpost. Told you. 32 food. Worth it. Absolutely worth it. Take out this damn tower. Destroy all the tents and things. <laughs> Amazing booty. 17 food, 12 gold. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I always find it very satisfying when a scenario has a looting kind of mechanic where when you destroy buildings you get resources. I always find that very oddly satisfying, I guess you could say. What? Nothing at all? I would have expected more from an army who has raised half the country. <laughs> Alright, well, we got a few resources. A scant few. Actually, it's a good sign if the Yuri have run out of supplies. Now if we can destroy their town, their invasion will break down. All right, we're getting out of the snowy area into some more temperate zone. Down to 20 men, so we've made we've lost about five or six in total so far. I know I'm not really going the right way, but it's always good to scout around a bit. Actually, I'll just send send like one guy. See if there's anything. You guys can move this way, meanwhile. Some ruins over here. But I don't think we can get in. Right. Nothing to see here. I would leave the monks behind, but last time on the, on the pass we got charged from both sides, and if I leave the monks unprotected, 
then they're really vulnerable, especially if there's some light cap or something that's coming charging up, because then they take a monk out in like two hits. So I think I'm just going to keep everyone together in a box. All these rocks. Uh, is there anything here? Slippery Hill. Main battle. Okay, we're not at main battle yet. I don't know about these rocks, though. If there's a rock slide and everyone dies, that would not be cool, so I'm just going to save the game. Probably nothing, but sometimes you just get that little sixth sense tingling. Everyone's just like walking right through. What's going on there at the bridge? Oh no! How dare you! A curse on it! I have been discovered! Come back! You coward! Who is this man? Catch him! After him! He won't get far, man, even though we have no horseback soldiers. Hello. Oh, hey, peasants, did a rider just pass along here? Yes, and his horse trampled on our vegetables. He went up that mountain path. He must be out of his mind. This is how you used to have to do waterfalls before the HD edition added an actual waterfall graphic. <laughs> oh, wolves. Oh, I understand. Up the mountain path. I like how this is designed. They, they use these stone, use these pile of stone because these don't actually block men from. You can walk over these, so it looks like a stone mine, but it's walkable, which is nice. Uh oh. Probably need to take him alive. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Where's the monks? Heal him, heal him. No. The wolves have torn him apart. Probably we should have saved him. Hmm, now we have to ask. Yeah. I wonder if it's possible to save him. Let's let's find out. Alright, I'm back. This time I'm gonna try and save his life. I'm gonna run in there as quickly as I can, kill the wolves. Hopefully we can take him alive and see what he knows. Come on. You can do it. You're not getting away easily this time. Ha! Alright, now tell me what you know. I am bleeding to death! Oh, isn't that easy? <laughs> Damn it. Who are you, and why did you destroy the bridge? I'm your father's servant, Julio. He disapproves of your alliance with Agoric. I'm dying. Forgive me. What should my father try to achieve by destroying bridges? Hello? Do you still hear me? My prince, he will not be able to reply anymore. Hmm. Well, we did save him, but at least we got a tiny bit of information. We know that dad is trying to sabotage us. Hmm. Ulio must ask the peasants for help. Okay, so it's similar outcome, just slightly different dialogue, and maybe Ulio knows a bit more now. But he probably could have figured it out on his own. Alright, so it doesn't really make a difference whether you save him or not, but it's good to know. My good people, is there any other way to cross the river? My men and I are in haste. My brother and I shall help you if we can, your royal highness. If we can do anything, please lead us to the spot and we'll get working. The villagers have agreed to help Ulio get across the river. Lead them to the spot where they are supposed to get working. Can they fix the bridge? Can I cross up here? Build a dam up here. Oh, cool. That's fun. Should help to dry the river below the cliff. We'll soon be able to cross it. I wonder if you could also lead them to this shipwreck and they would repair it and make a transport ship for you. What is the news, Archer? Still no sign of Ulio's army, your majesty. Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying. There are so many obstacles, guys. Ulio has betrayed me. Now I see clearly. He talked me into giving my daughter's hand to him and then sent me into my death. How smart of him. He will inherit my kingdom. I've been tricked by Ulug's breed. No, these misunderstandings are so frustrating. I'm coming. I must make haste. Agoric's army might be under pressure already. That's pretty cool. 
Yeah, so I wonder if there, if you could lead them to this and have them build it, make a transport ship out of it, or if they could just repair the bridge for you. If you have multiple options there, but I won't go back and check what they are. I think we've had enough of reloading. One of these days I'm going to upload an episode where I just play all the way through and don't have to load any save games. It's going to happen. Mark my words. Alright, heal these guys up. I think we just have a little bit of damage on one of them from the wolves. Alright, so... Go into box formation again, I have a bad feeling about this. Save point. Ha! Ha! Told you. Hello, Agurik. You thought I abandoned you. Not much of an army, but I'm here to help. So you did come after all. You have taken very long. I beg your pardon, O Agurik. I was held up on the way. You could say that. I already thought you would let me die here on purpose. <laughs> I, I never lost faith in you for a moment. Anyhow, let us return to the battlefield. Halberdiers, longswords, archers. All these, like, feudal age units, or castle age units, I guess. Well, I guess technically halbs are imperial units, but whatever. Weak units. We must destroy the castle and the docks. This will certainly break the defenses as well as the supply lines. Okay, so there's two castles, and they have 11,000 HP. Docks are normal. The area you're making a sally. Get ready for fighting. I think I should save. Take care of our siege equipment while we fend off this attack. Alright, let's keep this stuff safe because I don't think we're going to get any more siege. Here they come. Okay, keep the monks back. Because all we want them to heal, but we don't want them to take any hits. Alright, get the halbs in here. Should probably be a bit more careful, Mr. Manganel. Alright, we seem to have turned this away from us. Why are you. Ah! No! Alright, he got one hit in. It's not too bad. Okay, we fought that off. Alright, so we have to besiege this Yeri town. Let's have a look at what we're dealing with here. Uh, Ulio must set the palisades around the castle on fire. One blow of his sword will do for each segment. Oh, okay, so we don't have to actually tear down the castle with 11,000 HP. That's good. Ulio can either destroy one of the gates or capture it. To capture a gate, bring Ulio and four other men to the inside of the gate. A Gurik's army will try to storm the town. Okay, so if we get inside the gate, it triggers... Red to send his soldiers in and help us. That's good too. Good to know. Uh, let's see. Hints. Main battle. Protect your monks. They're crucial for healing Ulio and his men. Scouting the area around the Yeri town might be a good idea, unless you want to beat the final battle without any more units. When at least one of the Yeri gates has fallen or been captured, Agurik will send in regular waves of attackers against the town. He will attack more regularly if Ulio has at least one military unit within the enemy walls. Agurik's ram will not suffice to take down the castle, but they will distract the castle fire for a while. A good moment for Ulio to get into the danger zone and set the palisades alight. I also have a couple of rams of my own that I can use to sponge the fire, hopefully. Uh, on standard and moderate, the castle will stop firing for a few seconds when Ulio has set the last palisade on fire. On hard, the castle will go on firing. On standard and moderate, you might also find a siege engineer near the Yeri town. You can use him to repair your siege weapons. However, he will be exhausted 90 seconds after he starts repairing. So I have one chance to repair my siege at one point. Blacksmith upgrades. How? I don't have a blacksmith. Uh, now that the Yeri are making their last stand, they will be more unpredictable than ever. Many of their actions are random, so you will not always know what they're up to, even if you replay this battle. Some events might happen one time, other events another time, so save often and watch out for evil surprises. Protect your prince and any conquered buildings. If you need more hints, there are some more walkthrough hints and scouts. Well, let's not read that for now. Alright, so let's scout around and see what we can find. 
Not the Manganel. Maybe we get these buildings? We can use this deserted village to train some more troops. Okay, excellent. Blacksmith. Alright, let's just get all the blacksmith ways we can. Who's this? Uh, I escaped the Gary, but their tortures left me with stiff arms and legs for the rest of my days. E every movement is pain, yet I shall repair your siege weapons if you bring them to me, but only once and only for a short time. Alright, so that's our engineer that we can use one time. Let's get all the blacksmith upgrades. And let's get some skirms and some halbs out. Let's capture this dock. All we need to do is get rid of that watchtower. Okay. If we have a dock, then we can also do naval attacks, which is which would be very useful for circumventing these walls. So we'll see if we can do that. Uh, is there anything around this side? Maybe. Send them around. Get the armor upgrades as well. Okay, stay there. See what's around the side here. Maybe we'll, we'll be some more. As his men approached the castle, he felt as strong as never before. Even the men around him noticed something and looked upon him with admiration. Mm -hmm. It was possibly the happiest moment of Julio's life as the alliance moved into the last battle against the Yiri. To his men, Julio looked untouchable. Oh. Uh oh. Run into a bit of trouble here. Hopefully we can fend this off. Alright, hold me off, guys. Alright, let's get out of here. Halbs, I think, are going to be really the way to go because of all these mounted enemies that we have. Uh, that was a bit of a waste. Oh. Leave my scorpion alone. Hmm. Scorpion won't be too useful, I don't think, so I don't need to worry too much about keeping that alive. Take those out. Take, take the damage for me. That's good. Okay, I have these two rams, two capped rams, one mangonel, one scorpion, and I should try and capture this dock. Hmm. Oh wow, what happened to- when did Ulio get 300 extra HP? Look at this, 370. Cool. That's excellent. Uh, maybe that's what- maybe that happened when he said that all that about um, his strength was- boosted or whatever it was before. That's really useful. I can use him to tank all sorts of arrow, arrow fire. Alright. Get out of there. Let's bring everyone down to here. Unfortunately, I can't make anything. I can't make scout cavalry or anything that would be useful for running in and taking out those scorpions that they keep sending around. Where are all my skirmishers? Okay, come on. Don't be stupid. Alright. Alright. 
Fire in the hole! Take these guys out. Ooh, scorpion Bolt takes a lot of damage. Oh, they keep attacking us. Okay. They keep attacking us from all sides here. Alright, it'll take forever to take the scorpion out, but one mangonel hit would be enough. Nice. Okay. Let's get archers. Do I have. I need the archer armor upgrade. Take out this last guy, and then we can send the rams in to deal with the tower. Get back. Come back here, you coward. Oh. Alright. War galley here. Okay, let's get some. Get a few long swordsmen as well. Actually, really, uh, the best thing to tank uh, tower fire with is Ulio because Ulio is so invulnerable and he can heal up. He, uh, he auto heals, plus he can be healed by the monk. Neither of those things is true of the siege weapons. Uh oh. Oh no, I put all my helps away. Right, this shouldn't be too much of a problem. Kill the prince! We have the dock. It's almost dead, but we have it. The camels in. Uh, camels helps. Helps should be able to hold this off. Ah, uh, why is the dock so damaged? I think my capped rams may have inadvertently hit it a bit. Leave my dock alone! Sink that ship. Take care of everything. When did this happen? Right, come on. There we go. Excellent. Hey, your men are needed in battle. I won't allow any of them to go to my camp. What are you up to, Julio? Oh, I don't know. Scorpion is somehow still alive. There goes the scorpion. Ah oh well. Rip. I need more halps. Come on. Throwing away a few too many of my units, I think. I don't have any means of getting resources back, so... I think I should make a couple transport ships, in case I want to try any sort of... naval-based attack. Where's Julio? Julio! Ugh. This knight is wreaking so much havoc because I just have nothing. I 
need, need to get more halbs out. Alright, we can hold this though. God, AI is so good at dodging, I hate it. Alright, you can stop now. Oi, careful. Careful, Mr. Onager. Okay. We're sustaining this. Should I try and go for the naval landing? Ten. I can put ten guys on my transport ship, so... I wonder if I should try and go for the naval landing and get and wipe out the docks first. Do they have ships? They had like a couple ships, but I don't think they have too much of a naval presence, and I don't really want to waste all my resources on building ships. So I think... I think I'm going to try a naval landing with a couple rams and a couple units and Ulio, and see what I can do. Do I have anything else up here? No. A Gurik is just standing there. Do I have to keep him alive? Not necessarily. Don't attack my dock, please. Oh my god. Anganel, calm down. <laughs> I'm pop capped. Not for too long, though. Okay. Just kind of holding out down here, gathering up, gathering up my. My forces, my ideas for the for the push. I don't know if it makes sense to garrison. Should I bring the mangonel or should I keep it out here in case this goes awry? I don't think the mangonel will actually be that helpful to me. Come on. Are you kidding me? Get back here. Okay. Two rams, eight halves. Then I want Ulio. Two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10. Get on board the ship. Maybe I can capture one of the gates while I'm at it. But I'll, I'll, my plan is to soak the castle fire with the... Um, with the rams. And then maybe Ulio can go around and set the palisades on fire. Alright, let's see how it goes. Okay. Oh, oh, first thing I should unload are the rams. Go for the castle! There goes my transport. Where's Ulio? Suicide mode here. He has enough HP that I don't feel too... I feel fairly confident that I will be able to do this. Alright, the castle's going for him now. That's kind of annoying. Alright, here we go. Don't mind me. Where's the next one? Are there, there aren't any on this. Oh, he's low, though. He's low. 
Oh boy, I don't know if this is gonna go well. Oh, so close, so close! No! Julio! One left! One left! God dang it! Ah! You've gotta be kidding me. Oh man. I should have saved before I attempted that YOLO attack.